Hey everyone, it's Max Power 10 here giving you some more tips on reducing your game lag. Uh, this is a follow up to another video I've done. I'll put the link to the, to the video on the description of this one. In this video I'm going to focus on network configurations, specific configurations within your household network to hopefully reduce your game lag. So the main thing is to make sure within your Call of Duty games your NAT type is open. If it's strict or moderate then you definitely have some work to do. Configuration number one, you're going to connect your Xbox directly to the internet. Um, this configuration that I'm showing you here is a typical household, about 95% of households are configured their, their networks this way, where you basically have a modem that connects to the router, and then the router basically provides internet to everybody else in the house. So your Xbox, your computers are all connected this way. What we want to do is get the Xbox onto the internet without going through the router. There are some, risks, some security risks involved, so be wary of that. Um, but we also want to do this in a way where it doesn't affect or take down the network for everybody else who's using it within within the household. All we need to do is buy one piece of equipment, uh, basically a, a switch, a network switch. It's a five port or eight port is fine, and a cable. So this investment is about twenty dollars. You can get it at Staples or Best Buy, Walmart. And what we're going to do is install a switch between the router and the modem. So now my modem connects to the switch, the switch connects to the router, the router provides internet for everybody else within the house, and the Xbox, I'm now using this yellow cable and connecting the Xbox directly to the switch. So now the Xbox is getting onto the internet directly, going through the switch to the modem, it's not going through the router anymore. So this basically creates one less hop, you may experience less lag, and at the same time, you're not taking down everybody else within your household network. This should work because most ISPs allow three dynamic IP addresses per modem. Make sure you power off all your network equipment and turn it back on when you've completed this configuration so everything resets. It's also extremely important to make sure you connect the cable from the switch to the internet port of the router. So make sure you do that and shut everything off. Just to recap, before and after again, you have typical configuration the modem into the router and then your Xbox into your router your PC into your router and with the new configuration you're going to install the switch in between the modem and the router so now the switch connects the modem connects to the switch the switch connects to the router and then you're connecting your Xbox directly to the switch so with that configuration you should hopefully see less game lag in configuration 2 I'm going to actually create a separate network for your Xbox in the last video I suggested the Apple Airport Extreme no configuration once you install this and if you're worried about putting your Xbox directly on the internet without going through a firewall there are some security concerns so this will basically build a firewall for this so make sure you do configuration one first and then what I've done here is I've installed the modem the airport extreme the Apple router I should say between the Xbox and the switch and this will work wire or wirelessly so if you have a wireless or wired problem you can do this wirelessly as well and what I'm doing is I'm creating two separate networks the blue cable represents one network the yellow cable represents another so in the blue cable network all the household devices are connected to the router and then the other one the yellow cable network only my Xbox is connected to the Apple router and what this does is by creating two separate networks if people are streaming or watching Netflix on the other devices within that within the household um, it won't affect my internet gaming as extreme so there will be some slowness but it won't be as transparent if someone's downloading music or videos you won't see it as much because you are creating two separate networks one for everybody else and another one just for your gaming console so hopefully these tips help. Thanks for watching. Till next time, Max Power out.